welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but we're back and better. We have our beautiful model Lori today. So we're gonna be doing a little like bronzy cut crease, a lot of sparkles, a lot of glitter, just to have fun and just let, let loose. So stay tuned and join me. Smash the subscribe button, come on. <laughs> That's Smash true. the like button. Smash the like button, <laughs> smash the subscribe button, turn on your notifications mm -hmm. and comment down below if you wanna see other looks. Starting with a two color method, what it is is I go with a shade that's a lot lighter and a shade that's closer to her skin tone. To highlight her brow bone, I'm gonna mix the two. And then to put it for her base, I'm gonna go with the shade that's a lot lighter than her skin tone just so the colors pop up a little more. I call it the two method or the three methods. Sometimes I use like three different shades to kind of just work and then blend it all together. As you can see, I'm not too crazy about making it perfect because it's going to get blended anyways. With the lighter shade, I'll make sure to list everything down below, but this is the MAC 24 hour soft matte concealer. And uh, the brush I was using for that was the Morphe M705. And then now I'm going to go with the Almar brush. I don't know which one this is. It doesn't have a name for it. Just to blend everything together. I'm just going to pat it in. So a lot of people like to start with brow first. I actually like to leave brows for last. Not sure why. There is times where I'll go in with the brows first, but for the majority of the time, I do leave them for last. Just so I know, depending on the eye look, how intense I want to go with the brows or how light I want to go with them or make them look more natural or just fluffy. I'm going to start with the Morphe 506, very small taper brush, and I'm going to go in with a dark brown. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palettes, the, the first original one and then the second one. Central Park from the original palette, so it's a really just dark brown more cool tone. And what I'm gonna do is focus it on the outer and I'm gonna start patting it in to create the shape that I want. As you can see, we're not starting with a transition color. We're going in straight darker, just so we can build the shape that we want and then blend it out slowly with a transition shade. doing is a little more of a rounded shape rather than something a little more dragged out. Since we already have the shape that I kind of desire, slowly build it up. I'm gonna go with the shade beside it, which is Soda Pop, on the same brush, and I'm gonna go back and just darken it. If you guys have any ideas of what kind of looks we should do next, leave it in the comment section down below or even send me some on Instagram. Well, if you guys want to see a Halloween series, I know I'm going to start filming some, but I want to know if you guys want to see it because I'm going to do like an IGTV for Instagram, but I want to see if you guys want like the full details on how I start to like start to finish. So now that I got the desired shape, I'm going to go in with a lighter color just to blend everything in with a fluffier brush. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe um, 573. <clears throat> and I'm going to go in with the same palette in the shade Pukey. Where's my cute thing? <laughs> and what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to pack. As I noticed, I put too much. So I just take it on the back of my hand just to take off the excess. And I'm gonna take it really close to where her contour is gonna be just so it blends nicely and then just feather it into the eyebrow. Just 
the shade beside it, which is Hunts, which is a more of like a copper orangey shade. I'm gonna pop it right towards the center. And then blending it inward. And then wherever it's remaining, blending it back. Go back with the two shades that I originally used. Go back over anything that kind of disappeared when I was blending in those colors. So I'm actually not gonna do a full on cut crease. I'm actually just gonna go straight with the eyeshadow because I want it more of a blended look rather than an actual full on cut crease. The M Morphe 124. It's more of like a smaller, denser brush. And I'm gonna take the money, I mean, sorry, the shade Queen, which is like a bronzy gold. And I'm just gonna pack that onto her lip. As you can see, I'm not doing anything too crazy because I am going to put glitter on top. So it's kind of just so it peeks through behind the glitter. So I have these two. I'm going to be mixing these two. The glitter primer, I'm going to be using a NYX glitter primer. You guys just take it on the back of my hand. So I have to have like the two mix in, I'm just going to mix them together and slowly pick them up. I'm just going to press it and don't worry about too much fallout. We are going to clean it up so we do the eyes first. take some lash glue and we're actually going to add some right for me. But before I do that, I'm going to go back in with the shade that I use for the gold and I'm going to add an inner corner highlight. I'm going to do the shade Beam. I'm going to pop it right here. And I'm also just going to highlight her brows a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of glue and I'll pop it into the inner corner. And with my tweezers, I'm going to take a little rhinestone. I'm just going to go back and darken the eye using the first, same first two shades I used. And I'm also going to add a little bit of black this time. I'm just pressing that in. And we're back. We have both eyes done. I'm actually just going to go in with some liner just to tight line her line. I'm not going to do a wing out liner. At least that's what I'm thinking for now. I'm going to go in with the brush black. Brush show 24 eyeliner from MAC. I'm just going to go really close to her lash line. I'm going to go in with some moisturizer. I'm just going to go with a small brush. This is the Luxy brush in by 12. 
I'm gonna apply it then later and just let it sit for a little bit. And then for a primer, I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip. It takes like two pumps. For foundation, we're gonna go in with the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 450 by Fenty Beauty. First, just gonna go in with the foundation brush and just apply it directly to the skin before I blend it out. I'm just gonna dab it into the beauty blender. My beauty blender is damp. With the 24 hour smooth concealer, I'm gonna go with NC50 first, which is the one closest to her skin tone. I'm just going to use the same foundation brush just to apply it. I'm going to go in with a little bit of a lighter shade just to add a little more highlight. We're going to go with the NC35, very light. You don't want too much. And with that, I'm actually just going to take my beauty blender, just pump it into the skin. I mean, back of my hand, mixing it with the dark shade that I already have remaining on my hand. So we're gonna slowly just match them in and just right underneath in the inner corner. We're not gonna take it all the way far out. And as you can see, I just took whatever was remaining and just blended into the shadow. with our Fenty powder and banana. I'm just going to take some in my hand again. And we're going to set everything. And for the rest of the face, we're going to go on the same powder, but in NW50 on a lovier brush. This is the RL Moda. I'll find out the actual name for it and I'll link it down below. And I'm slowly just going to press it into the skin. contour I'm going to use a bedellium brush this is the 942 it's a little angled brush I'm going to go in with the NYX contour palette in the darkest shade not too much very lightly Focus, focusing it on the outer and then whatever is remaining just bringing it in because we did bake it makes it a lot easier not having to go with too much product I'm going to do the Morphe 433, which is a fluffier brush. So we're on the sides of the nose, blending it into the eyebrows. And then 
and just clean. And then for blush, I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetic Palette. Like I said, I'll just link it down below. I don't know exactly which one it is. I'm gonna be using the two pink shades. I'm slowly just building the color to see how pigmented I want it. After I get the desired color that I want, I'm gonna move on to the next step. We're gonna be using the Artist Couture in the shade Conceited. So we're gonna go ahead and just pop some mascara and lashes and we'll be right back to do the lower lash line and just do the finishing touches like eyebrows, lips, and so on and so forth. I'm gonna do some eyeliner in her waterline and her tight line. I'm gonna go in with Feline by MAC Cosmetics. M124, which is the smallest brush. And then go with the same color to use on top of the eyes just to smoke out the lash line. She's gonna go in with individuals for the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the same eyeliner, the brush, um, but in, instead of the black, I'm gonna do the brown. I'm just gonna create like hair like strokes, and I'm gonna go in with the the styler and the shade stud. And we're back, we're gonna be doing lips now. We're gonna go on first with Chestnut by MAC followed by Spice just in the center. And then we're gonna use like a liquid lipstick and a gloss. For our liquid lipstick, we're going to be using uh, Fenty Beauty and Unbutton. So we're going to leave it matte for now. We are going to add a gloss afterward. Just going to go in with some setting spray. I'm going to first go in with the Fix Plus just to continue hydrating her face. And then I'm going to go in with the All Nighter.
And then like I said, All Nighter by Urban Decay. blender that we use. I'm just going to press the products into her face. Bronze and shade, the shades I used. It's going to add a little bit more definition. And there you have, this is the completed look with a matte lip. I will show you guys afterwards when you put a gloss on, but as you can see, it's just kind of like so nice. We added the lower lashes to be extra dramatic with the glow. And the same thing. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link everything down below. Make sure to check us out on YouTube and also all my social media platforms. I will link everything down below. Until next time. See you. Peace. <laughs> Here's the final look with the lip gloss. I'll make sure to link everything down below. We did change the lip, but make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And join me on this journey. See you next time. Bye.